All right, guys, uh, review time. I'm um, going to do a review on these two 3D printed uh, statues, figures, whatever you like to call them, that I picked up. Um, I picked it up at Ultimate Modeling Products. They're in UK. You can go ahead and pause this, but I'll put it also on the front of the video when I post this up on my YouTube channel. But it's www. Ultimate model uh, products retail.com and they got a lot on their site very cool now Batman here I'll uh, we'll look him over here in a minute uh, the height is six inches or close to six inches um, with his little stand that he he has and his width is about four and three quarter maybe a little bit wider than that kind of hard to measure um, to get a true measurement on Batman but he's a decent size uh, figure statue whatever you like to call him uh, Gandalf here is really cool now from here up to the top of his head he measures four and three quarter from ground up to the highest uh, point here on his um, uh, I don't know what you call that thing there um, I don't know but um, to the highest point is um, five and three quarter um, his uh, I think he could use his powers through that and I know in one of the movies uh, he was fighting that dra dragon and he killed it and then uh, wherever he went to they brought him back and then he was all white no I don't know if I'm gonna go with that I might that's too bad I can't light this up at the tip here, but uh, that would be probably too complicated. But we'll look at him in a minute. Batman now, Michael Keaton, this is from the 89 Batman movie. He's spot on. Um, I don't know what uh, printer that they used. I don't see any cleanup on either one of them. I will probably clean these up first before I paint them up. Uh, probably use Dawn soap and warm water and just clean them up real good. He feels like he's hollow, but uh, very sturdy and really a great job on this print. Uh, nice key on the bottom here, as you can see here. Very, very nice. Now, I don't know if I'm going to glue that onto him. I might. I'll see when I get to that. But let's take a look at his face. And it's spot on with Michael Keaton it's really cool it's amazing what 3d printers can do today but I'd say he's spot on uh, you can uh, be your own judge on that but uh, very cool front of uh, Batman is really nicely detailed you can see here all the way down his chest to his belt cape looks pretty cool it goes all the way around see the back side here very cool and then the stand he he sta uh, sits on uh, pretty cool very nice so we can get this back on with one hand go now we'll take a look at Gandalf he's very highly detailed too hopefully the camera's picking him up there's his sword very cool don't get me lying I forget what you call that rod thing he's holding in his hand I know it's like made out of wood but per really cool and I, I like the Lord of the Wing, Ring movies I like Harry Potter movies I like all that stuff and I can watch the Lord of the Ring movies over and over again and I always did like this wizard but I figured I'd share this with everybody very cool but uh, I'm probably gonna order some more off uh, Ultimate Modeling Products, they've got another Batman figure, statue, 
um, from the 92 movie. I didn't see any difference between the two, but I'll have to look again. But I'll probably go ahead and pick that one up as well, as, since this one is just uh, amazing. But I picked those two up. Took about two weeks. And I also got in order these uh, sanders from Ultimate Modeling Products. And they come in different... Uh, 180, 240, 400, 800, and 1200 grit. And I got a set of two, um, which I never have enough uh, sanding materials, but I figured I'd give everybody a review on these two. I'll post this up on my uh, YouTube channel maybe today or this weekend. This is Friday, May 20th. So uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Be safe out there. Like I said, I'll call this a wrap on these two, and I'll talk with everybody later.